welcome back everyone and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to hatch the cabin walls okay so let's get right into it all right first thing I want you to notice is that up here on the ribbon I have created a hatch layer um, and right here it is called wall hatch okay so I'm going to actually make that layer the current layer Okay. In the meantime, um, before I do hatch the walls, I want to freeze a couple of these layers because my drawing right now is very busy. So I'm going to come up to Layer Freeze. This is a new command and it makes freezing layers very quick. Uh, it has a piece of paper with a snowflake on it. So I'm just going to click on that. And then I'm just going to click on um, some of the layers that I want to freeze. Okay. And um, let's see, I could even freeze the furniture layer. There we go. All right, so that gets kind of the drawing a little bit easier to look at. All right, so we're going to come over to the hatch command, which is over here on the draw panel underneath the home tab, it's right here. So I'm going to click on that, and you'll notice that the ribbon changes. Okay, um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to be able to pick the type of hatch we want. So if we look under the pattern panel, if I click this, um, downward arrow here you'll notice that it shows a lot of different examples of hatches that we can use and we're gonna pick solid because I want a solid hatch so I'm gonna make that the current hatch that we're gonna use okay um, another thing that I want to point out is that I do want my hatch to be uh, individual separate entities I don't want them to be all kind of grouped together so I'm going to come over to the options panel and I'm going to um, highlight here create separate hatches I'm going to pick that and what that's going to do um, it stays blue and that way I know it's on uh, what that's going to do is when I put the hatches in it will keep each hatch separate from the other instead of grouping it all together and that's nice because if I ever want to erase a hatch or make changes to it um, it's not going to select all of the hatches as one large entity okay all right so a nice way to put hatch in is um, over here on the ribbon you can either pick a point or select objects and I like pick point so I'm going to start with that and what pick point does I'm going to zoom in here a little bit is um, you can see it starting to reflect what it wants to do here by hovering my cursor um, it basically creates a flood um, and it looks for the closed boundaries so notice my cursor just hovering in here it's kind of flooded this area until it finds all the closed boundaries so if I move my cursor in here or over here the computers taking a, a little bit of a lag time here um, there it goes you'll notice that it floods this area to all the closed boundaries okay so um, I do want to hatch the walls this really makes the drawing um, wall stand out and gives it some nice depth um, in the look of the drawing so I'm going to click that wall there I'm going to come over and click this and I'm just going around the cabin and picking inside the walls and you see it floods and there you go okay when I'm done I'm gonna right click to accept that hatch alright and now I want you to notice if I do grip on a piece of hatch notice that that hatch is its own entity and it didn't um, grip all the other hatches on the cabin and that's what I want okay so now we can come up to um, our layer pull down and if we want we can thaw some of these layers I'm just turning the snowflakes back into suns okay I'm gonna leave my wiring layers frozen and there you have it now your walls are hatched I hope that helps and stay tuned for the next tutorial